ya miaka hamsini ya mapinduzi furaha ya leo ni kuzindua kitabu cha picha kinosherekea miaka hamsini na wale wado toa mchango katika mapinduzi miaka hamsini lopita um, ladies and gentlemen welcome for the launch of this photographic book of 50 years of Zanzibar history muheshimiwa um, raisi mstaafu wana amani ya bed karume um, muheshimiwa makamu wa kwanza wa rais wa Zanzibar bwana Said Sharif karibuni sana kabla sijaendelea natoa kidogo historia ndogo kwa maisha tunavyozungumza um, mafanikio ya nchi au ya watu tunawasahau wanawake wengine hawajachukua bunduki hawajakwenda kwenye match lakini mchango wao tunaufamini sana mmoja katika wanawake hao ni mmoja katika waalikwa hapa bibi Fatuma Karume tunashukuru sana kwa support yako bila wewe wanawake wasingepiga hatua kubwa hapa Zanzibar Asante sana um, kabla sijaendelea zaidi nitapenda kumwalika mwandishi na mwanzishi wa kitabu hichi bwana Javid Jafri karibu Excellency, Honorable Saeed Sharif Ahmad, Honorable Amani Harume, Honorable Minister of Information, Culture, Tourism and Sports, Honorable Dignitaries, Member of Diplomatic Corps, Members from Commission of Tourism, Zati, Sako Chairman, Ladies and Gentlemen, Salaam Alaikum. People have gathered here from so many places to experience a great event namely the launching of the book and exhibition Zanzibar Photographic Journey 50 Years of the Revolution. Much thought went into this book and thus it has taken a long time, almost one year, in fact from the initial stages until the long-awaited final draft. The original idea was born a long time ago but it has taken dedication, hard work and many friends along the way to create the book you see in front of you today. I ultimately decided to create this book because I firmly believe it will be the only book of its kind to cover the 50 years of Zanzibar Revolution and solidify the momentous years of archipelago for generations to come. Together with my devoted team, we have tried to make this book about Zanzibar worthy of pride and praise. The book covers the most significant political years of Zanzibar the history, the culture, the modern history, iconic figures, and of course the geography and culture of Zanzibar as a whole. The final section of the book is the pride of Zanzibar. This section covers companies, individuals who has helped to shape modern day Zanzibar by continuing contributing to the local economy and raising Zanzibar's profile globally. The rough draft of the book was shown to Honorable Malim Saif during the star party in the month of Ramadan. We then discussed the book and later showed him the revised draft 
and thankfully he was excited and keen to see this book completed. We are thankful for his advice and inspiration. We are keen for him to contribute towards the book and finally he decided to join hands by contributing the introduction of the book. Later on, Ismail Jusa, Honorable Ismail Jusa, showed this book to Honorable Amani Abad Karume and he graced us with the foreword for the historical book. Furthermore, I would like to show my appreciation to the Honorable Ismail Jusa. The book would not have been able to be completed without his input. From the moment I conversed with him about the book, he was nothing but encouraging and optimistic and genuinely believed that this book will be the best book of its kind. I would also like to th thank my designer, Terence Fernandez, who has painstakingly spent long hours hours in the office during the working of this book. Terence has seen the project from start to finish and spent almost six months working on the book. At one point, we believed this is a never-ending project, but I'm truly grateful for his work and finally gets us there. Terence, I know you are sitting there. Please stand up. You deserve this. Please. Thank you. Thank you, Terence. You did a fantastic job. I would also further like to thank the individuals who assisted in research and the search for historical pictures that are widely component of this book. We are thankful to many photographers, Ottoman Molid, Ramzan Ottoman, Salman Said, they are the presidential photographer and also photographer to Malim Saif. We are also thankful to Capital Art Studio, Robin Papista and Adnan, who contributed parts of photography. Our heartful thanks and gratitude also goes to the family of the iconic figures covered in this book who opened up their private collections and willingly shared the pictures with us. We would also like to thank and appreciate Zanzibar Archives, the Department of Information Zanzibar, Zanzibar Leo Newspapers, and Tanzania Standard Newspapers Archives, where we spent many hours, days, weeks, looking for various pictures for this book. Thanks for the wonderful staff who opened up their heart and helped us extremely to make this book a great success. A book like this requires experienced writers and editors. A number of writers worked together to make this book what it is today. And we are eternally thankful for the hard work and dedication. Ahmad Rajab is one of the best known Zanzibar writer who had returned to Zanzibar and wrote the political chapters. He is not here today, but he has sent greetings from London. Two other writers assisted with various other chapters of the book, Caroline Lewis and Jessica Trapp. Unfortunately, they could not make it today as well. When I was in London, I had honor of showing this book to Honorable Ali Hassan Mouini, the third president of Zanzibar. When he saw the book, he was amazed to see what was there and what we had achieved and stated that he wanted to have the first copy of this book when it's published. Support like this really makes all the hard work worthwhile. As the book was going to press, I had honor of showing this book to His Excellency Dr. Mohamed Karib Bilal the Vice President of Tanzania in his home in Dar es Salaam. The meeting inspired me to do another book on 50 years of the union between Tanganyika and Zanzibar on April 26, 2014. Work has already commenced and I'm thankful for the encouragement he gave. I would like to say a big thank you to my family who supported me throughout the process. My parents, Abid and Bashira, my wife, Kulsum, my children, Kumail Hassan Rudefa. Thanks a lot. I've been away working till 3 o'clock in the morning and they have... Finally, I would like to thank Honorable Minister Saeed Baruch and his team and the revolutionary government of Zanzibar. From the first meeting, he allowed us to put the exhibition here at Peace Memorial Museum and we would like to thank him for making this exhibition open to the public. It is our mission that this Many school children will come and see this historical exhibition. This is our history and we are proud for people to see what we have. We plan to have this exhibition for one year and hopefully many school children will come here. This book is dedicated to Zanzibar and its people. Zanzibar has given me a place to photograph with this wonderful and colorful people who has given me everything to me. It has made my name, my career, and my home. Lastly, 
Thank you very much. Thank you very much once again. Sante. Sante Sano, thank you, Jerry Jafferty. Now, if I may call the Honorable Mr. Jusa Ismail um, to say a few words. Thank you, Jusa. Assalamu alaikum. Ule Barazani na Kabek Bencha na hapa pia nimeona ni kwa Kabek Bencha vile vile. Eh makamu wa kwanza wa Rais wa Zanzibar Ali Yusuf Sharif Hamad. Mheshimiwa Rais wa Awamu ya Sita ya Serikali ya Mapinduzi ya Zanzibar, Mheshimiwa Dr. Amani Abeid Karume. Mheshimiwa Waziri wa Habari Utamaduni Utalii na Michezo, Mheshimiwa Said Ali Mbarak ndugu yetu Jabir Jafarji mama yetu mama Fatma Karume mzee wetu mzee Hassan Asmoyo mheshimiwa mawaziri mheshimiwa wageni mbali mbali waliko ni heshima kubwa sana kusimama hapa mbeleno na mimi kusimama chache kusiana na shughuli yetu hii na awali kabisa naomba nimshukuru sana sana ndugu yangu Jabir Jafarji kwanza kwa kuja na wazo hili lakini vile vile kwa kunipa heshima kubwa ya kunishirikisha tangu mapema kabisa kutoa ushauri mbalimbali na hatimaye kuwa ni sehemu ya mpango huu wa kutoa kitabu hiki. Nashukuru sana za kwa kazi ambayo umefanya na kwa heshima ambayo umenipa. Lakini pili tulipokuwa tukifanya kazi hii kuna mambo kadhaa ambayo nimeyabaini ambayo ndio ningependa kuyazungumza hapa. La kwanza ni vipaji ambavyo wazanzibari wenyewe tunavyo. Javed amemtaja hapa designer wa kitabu hichi. Alifanya kazi yote ya graphic design. Challenge ambaye alimsimamisha kuja. Ni kijana na ukiona kazi ambazo amezifanya na hasa kitabu hichi kitaonekana huwezi kuamini kwamba ni zao la ubunifu na uwezo wa vijana wa Zanzibari wenyewe inaonesha uwezo ambao Zanzibar. Lakini na Jabir mwenyewe vile vile ambaye alikuja na wazo hili na jinsi alivyoweza kila wakati kuambunifu na kubadilisha mambo hatimaye kitabu kitaweza kuja vile ambavyo uh, tumekuja. Hata tulipokuwa tukimuonesha jana wakati tunkabidhi nakala mheshimiwa rais mstaafu Dr. Amani Karume alipoona picha ya challenge aliuliza kwamba huyu ni mzanzibari tukamwambia naam ni mzanzibari aka sifu sana jinsi ya kufanya kazi ya jinsi ambavyo ile sifa za kisuria ambazo zilikuepo bado ari zile vipaji vile vipo vikitumika ipasavyo na vikipewa fursa vikashajiishwa basi vina nafasi kubwa ya kufanya makubwa kwa ajili yetu Zanzibar na kila pili nataka vile vile ni zungumze machache kwamba tulifurahi sana tulipoomba Mheshimiwa wetu wawili. Maalim Sef na Dr. Karume kuwa sehemu ya kitabu hichi. Moja kwa kumuomba andike dibaji na mwingine kumuomba andike utangulizi wa kitabu hichi. Hawakusita. Lakini sio tu kwamba alikubali kuandika, walikuwa wakitupa moyo na kuonesha kiasi gani wakithamin juhudi zile ambazo kwa zinafanywa na wananchi wenzi wao. Lakini kwangu mimi ni faraja vile vile kwamba wao ni sehemu ya kitabu kwa sababu ya mchango mkubwa ambao wameutoa kuituliza Zanzibar baada ya vipindi vingi vya misukosuko ya kisiasa. Leo hii utulivu uliokuwa Zanzibar tunajivunia kwa sababu ya kuziweka kando nafsi zao na maslahi binafsi ya vyama vyao wakatanguliza uzanzibari mbele. Asanteni sana Dr. Karume na Maalim Sefu. Hatuwezi kusahau kwa mchango huu. Kwamba leo ni sehemu ya kitabu hichi tena ni ujumbe kwa Zanzibari kwamba lililofanyika halisahauliki na tunaendelea kuthamini kile ambacho mekifani. Lakini kwa kukubali kwa kuwa ni sehemu ya kitabu hichi imeonesha kwamba wakati wote mko tayari kutoa nguvu na kuwapa moyo wa Zanzibari ili kuibua vipaji vyao na kuweza kuvidhihirisha mbele ya ulimwengu. La mwisho ambalo nataka kulizungumza. Wakati tunahangaika kufanya kitabu hichi kama alivyozungumza Javed tulilazimika kufanya utafiti na kutafuta picha nyingine ambazo zilikuwa hazimo katika uh, kumbukumbu zetu. Na tunashukuru pia tulipokwenda tulipata msaada na mashirikiano makubwa. 
jumba la nyaraka na kumbukumbu Kilimani pale idara habari maelezo gazeti la Zanzibar leo na maktaba yao Capital Art Studio katika piga picha mashuhuri hapa Zanzibar ambayo namuona pia yuko hapa na wengi wengine lakini hata kama alivyosema Javed familia za wazanzibari hasa wale ambao tuliwatambua mlendani kama ni icons ama ni watu ambao wamejenga majina na wamesaidia kufikisha Zanzibar hapa ilipo kote huko tulipata mashirikiano makubwa na tuliona ardhi ya wazanzibari sasa mimi niliona na nimejifunza baada ya kupitia yale yameandikwa na picha zile kilinizidishia kitabu hichi hamasa ya uzalendo kwa nchi yetu na naomba nimani msema nukta ya mwisho hii naomba sana kwamba kitabu hichi kiwe chatu sio tu ya kuweka kumbukumbu lakini ya kutumia kumbukumbu zile ili kuhakikisha kwamba ile sifa mamlaka hadhi na haiba ya Zanzibar inarudi na inasifika kote duniani nadhani wa Zanzibar wote tutakuwa sehemu ya hilo na baada ya kusema hayo nasema nashukuru sana tena nasema na kushukuru sana Javed na baada ya kusema hayo naomba nirejeshe microphone kwa master of ceremony ambaye sadani katungepata mwingine mwenye uzaidi kuliko Faruk Abdullah Faruk asante sana My goodness, you say you speak like a proper politician. Are you aiming for a high office? <laughs> um, Asante sana. Um, the reason I said very little about myself. My name is Farouk. I was born here, spent most of my time in England. After more than 35 years of self-imposed exile, I once met a minister who looked at me and said, Farouk, what are you doing in London? time you come home to Zanzibar and that minister was known other than bwana Amani Abedi Karume see you come on nakumbuka wewe ndo ulenitia moyo nirudi unguja asante sana sasa tunamwalika bwana um, waziri wa utalii bwana Said Mbarok tafadhali waheshimiwa wageni walikwa wageni rasmi mheshimiwa makamu wa kwanza rais maalim sef sharif hamadi na rais mstaafu dr amani abed karume bwana jafet mzee wetu mzee hasan nasor moyo mama yetu na mlezi wetu mama fatuma karume Waheshimiwa mawaziri mbalimbali mliopo Waheshimiwa wajumbe wa baraza la wawakilishi wawakilishi wa balozi na muona rafiki yangu sana kutoka balozi wa Marekani karibu sana Wageni walikuwa mbalimbali mliopo mabibi na mabwana salamu alikum Waheshimiwa kwa kweli kwa niaba ya wizara habari utamaduni utalii na michezo kwanza naomba nichukue fursa hii kuwashukuru nyote kwa kuacha muda wenu adhimu sana mkweja mkashirikiana nasi katika shughuli hii muhimu na kihistoria sana lakini la pili tunashukuru sana waandaji wa kitabu hichi na picha hizi gallery tours na hasa mwenyewe bwana Jafet Bwana Jafet amekuwa mshirika mzuri sana wa Wizara ya Habari, Utamaduni, Utalii na Michezo. Nakumbuka mwezi uliopita, mwezi mwili uliopita tulikuwa nungwi na kikosi kikubwa sana cha watu wa utalii kutoka Afrika ya Kusini. Alifanya kazi moja mkubwa sana ya kuitangaza Zanzibar na kwa kweli tunamshukuru sana. Lakini na leo hili ambalo amelifanya na yeye na wenzake ni jambo kubwa sana ambapo katika miaka hii hamsini ya sherehe ya, maka, ya mapinduzi yetu matukufu amekuja na jambo moja ambalo litakuwa na manufaa sana kwa nchi yetu kitabu ambacho kitazinduliwa baadaye kwetu sisi wizara habari utamaduni utalii na michezo kimeenea katika sekta zote nne za wizara ndani yake mna shughuli za habari hasa masuala ya, ya picha na mambo mengine lakini pia inaelezea masuala ya utamaduni ambapo sisi pia tunaosimamia inazungulia swala michezo ambayo pia watakao kipata kitabu hichi na nawasihi kila mmoja ajitahidi awe nacho 
lakini zaidi inazungumzia masuala ya tourism ambayo utalii ambayo ndiyo sekta kiongozi wa uchumi wa nchi yetu kwa hivyo mimi kwa niaba ya habari utamaduni utalii na michezo nampongeza sana na wapongeza wote ambao kwa, mo, kwa njia moja au nyingine walisaidiana hata kuto, katika kutoa mawazo kufanikisha shughuli yetu hii ya leo lakini jambo nyingine muhimu la kuangalia ni kwamba shughuli hii tungeweza kuifanya popote pale hapa Zanzibar labda katika hoteli kubwa ya utalii au nyingine lakini tumechagua maeneo eneo hili maksudi kwa sababu ya umuhimu wa kitabu chenyewe na historia ya, ya nchi yetu hapa ni eneo la makumbusho ambalo lina historia kubwa sana katika nchi yetu kwa hivyo kuchaguliwa kufanyika shughuli hii hapa ni kwa maksudi maalum na kwa, kwa sababu ya kuelezea swala maalum katika tukio hili maalum kwa hiyo nacho waomba wananchi kwamba baada ya uzinduzi huu wa leo e, picha hizi ambazo zimo katika kitabu pia zitakuwepo hapa katika makumbusho hii sasa wananchi mbalimbali wanafunzi wageni watembezaji wa utalii na wao watapata nafasi inshallah wa kuja kuona hali halisi ya kitabu kilivyo na nama ambavyo kipo katika makumbusho yetu itakuwa kwa kweli ni kielelezo kingine cha kuonesha kwamba historia ya nchi yetu imewekwa wazi na bayana ili kwa watu wote kuweza kujifunza sasa nadhani nitaka niseme sana kwa sababu hili sijukua langu leo nitaka niseme hayo machache na baadaye nichukue fursa hii kwa heshima kubwa kufanya kazi ya kwanza ya kumkaribisha mgeni rasmi wa kwanza rais mstaafu sahibu yangu sana mi dr abed amani karume apate nafasi ya kutuaidhi na kuzungumza machache nashukuru sana asante sana sahibu Mheshimiwa makamu wa kwanza wa rais wa Zanzibar Maalim Saif Sharif Hamadi Mheshimiwa waziri wa habari utamaduni utalii na michezo ambaye pia ni sahibi yangu kama alivyothibitisha mwenyewe Mheshimiwa waziri Waheshimiwa wajumbe wa baraza la wakilishi Mzee wetu mzee Hassan Asolomoyo na mzee wetu mwingine ambaye pia nafikiri zaidi ya sahibu yangu pia <laughs> Bi mkubwa wangu ndugu yangu Jafed na pamoja na timu yake mlioko hapa ndugu zangu wageni walikwa mabibi na mabwana asalamu alaikum <coughs> kwanza napenda nianze kwa kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu aliyetujalia uzima uhai kwanza na uzima na kujalia pia kukutana leo hapa tukiwa sote wazima wa afya lakini pia namshukuru kwamba wengine baadhi yetu katujalia kuyashuhudia mapinduzi miaka hamsini iliyopita lakini baada ya hapo pia katujalia kuishi kwa kipindi cha miaka hamsini kuja kushuhudia sherehe hizi za leo nasema alhamdulillah rabbil alamin lakini pia nipenda nimshukuru sana maalim sef sharif hamadi ambaye ndiye makamo wetu wa kwanza wa rais hapa Zanzibar kwa kukubali 
mwaliko wa ndugu zetu hawa wakuja kujumuika nasi hapa katika kukizindua rasmi kitabu hichi chenye historia ya maendeleo tokea mapinduzi mpaka hivi leo asingeweza kufanya vinginevyo kwa sababu yeye ni mwana mapinduzi na ni muumini wa mapinduzi na hili nataka nilithibitishie uma huu na ulimwengu huu kwamba kile aliyepo hapa hivi leo ni mwana mapinduzi na ni muumini wa mapinduzi kwani nasema hivyo nasema hivyo kwa sababu mapinduzi ndio historia yetu ya Zanzibar ile ilichukua kutoka mwaka 64 katuleta hapa tulipo leo na mambo mengi yamefanyika katika kipindi hichi cha mapinduzi haya lakini la msingi ni kwamba mengi katika yaliyofanyika ni mambo ya kujenga sio kubomoa kujenga jamii yenye umoja kujenga jamii yenye usawa na kujenga jamii inayoamini haki Sasa hizo ni sifa za mapinduzi. Na sifa hizo sio kwamba mimi ninapamba pamba tu hapana. Tumeyaona, tumeyasikia na tumeyasoma yameandikwa ndani ya vitabu. Hivi karibuni tarehe nne mwezi huu. Nilikuwa kwenda kuzindua jengo jipya la ofisi ya mwanasheria mkuu wa Zanzibar. Nikafika pale baada ya kumalizika shughuli zikaanza kutolewa zawadi. Kuna zawadi nyingi zimetolewa. Kuna zawadi wengine wamepewa keki, wengine wamepewa sijui visana mwenge lakini kabla hapo ukanambia na mimi pia nina zawadi wana zawadi yangu mimeandalia. Sasa ilipokuja keki mimi nikasema mmm isiwe hiyo. Si mambo yangu hayo. Nilipokuja visana msanamu na vitu vingine vile leo yangu mimi bado najisema naji mwenyewe isiwe hiyo. Hatimaye wakanletia zawadi ninayoipenda vitabu. Kati ya vitabu hivyo kuna kitabu cha mabadiliko ya katiba ya Zanzibar kuanzia mwaka tisa mpaka mwaka mbili na kumi. Kuna kitabu kingine maana kile na kifaa vizuri na kijua lakini hichi pia nakijua lakini nimefurahi namna alivyokiandaa. Nacho cha sheria za Zanzibar kuanzia mwaka nane na tano sasa ndani humu katika serikali ya mwanzo wa mapinduzi ya Zanzibar <laughs> wengi katika hao waliotajwa humu walikuwa mawaziri au jumba baraza la mapinduzi mwezi mgo amewahitajia ama wachukua wazee wetu hao na ndugu zetu lakini wengine bado wapo na mmoja katika alikuwepo ni huyo hapa usio wewe mzee moyo. <laughs> Kaandikwa kwa jina hapa Honorable Hassan Nasoro Moyo kama ndio wewe basi hebu inuka kidogo akuone. Salaam alaykum. Salaam alaykum. Kumbe huyu bwana. Kwa hivyo mimi siku Ndipo kuja nikamkuta hapa nikasema ha leo mwenyewe yupo ana kila haki kujihusisha na haya aliyoandikwa humo na kujisifu na kujilabu Sasa 
Kati ya sheria hizo zilizoandikwa baina ya mwaka 64 na 65 kuna sheria nambari sita ya mwaka 64 Na alotia sahi pia mtu namfahamu sana anaitwa Abid Aman Karume alikuwa president of the People's Republic of Zanzibar short title ya sheria hiyo inasema hivi. Time ni kwa Kiingereza wa. Sasa mpiezo wazee walikuwa wanajua kila kitu wa. Short title ya sheria hiyo na ni ya mwanzo. Inasema hivi. Yaani pulie miwani kidogo. This decree shall be cited as the equality reconciliation and unity of Zanzibar People's Decree 1964 Kwa nokujua Kiingereza washafahamu maana yake wasojua nitaa tafsiri ya kidogo kidogo kwa mi kwa mujibu wa Kiingereza kidogo ndio kifahamu mimi Maana yake sharia hii sharia ya kuweka usawa sharia ya kuweka Reconciliation kwa Kiswahili chake. Maridhiano. Yes. Nitaka kusema mimi lakini kingaogopa ngataka wakubwa aseme. <laughs> sheria kuweka usawa, sheria maridhiano na sheria ya umoja wa Zanzibari. <laughs> na kuna sheria nyingine huko zimeandikwa lakini leo nitaka nilizungumzie sheria hiyo. Safari moja Mariam Zekarume aliulizwa swali. Na mwandishi mmoja alikuwa mwandishi wa Tanganyika Standard wakati huo. Akiitwa David Martin. Alikuja afikiri 1965. Akamuuliza wa mkubwa katika maswala mmoja na muuliza swala moja. Akamwambia lini utaitisha uchaguzi? Zekarume akamwambia da labda baada ya miaka 50. Labda. Alisema labda baada ya miaka 50. David Martin akashuka miaka 50 mingi hata. Hasusuzan kwa keke kwa keke alikuwa akishakuwa mtu mzima kidogo na alhamdulillah naye Mwenyezi Mungu amemchukua hakushuhudia miaka 50. Akamwambia kwa nini miaka 50? Akamwambia kwa sababu Zanzibar imepitia historia ya kukwaruzana kwa ruzana na mpaka sasa hivi yale makovu makovu ya kukwaruzana yapo bado tukifanya uchaguzi sasa hivi tutakuwa tunakumbusha tuna, tuna nini ile tunatoa magaga lakini baada ya miaka hamsini kutakuja kizazi kipya kizazi kipya cha Zanzibar kita reconcile kizazi kipya za Zanzibar kitafanya nani hii uchaguzi tena kwa maelewano mashirikiano na maridhiano pia na ndio yaliotokea sasa hivi sasa pigie hisabu si miaka 50 hiyo class o minus 3 tu mitatu tu au mine tuliku, tulikutana na nafikiri 99 mwaka 2000 au bana 2010 2009 tumekwenda kwa wananchi tukauliza mnataka nini asilimia 66.4 ya wananchi wa Zanzibar wanataka maridhiano wanakubaliana na sheria hii sasa ndugu yetu Javid alifunifata pamoja na kwanza kuja nani ndugu yangu Jusa unaeleza juu ya project ya kitabu Mimi cheka akaniuliza kwa nini unacheka? Na mimi nacheka kwa sababu nimefurahi, mimi nikifurahi nacheka. Ala. Haya kile kufurahisha ngamwe kitu nimefurahisha ni kwamba nyewe mnaendeleza historia ya mapinduzi. Historia ambayo tunaipenda sote. Kumbe wenyewe wana mapinduzi, nasema naam na sisi wana mapinduzi. Ndugu Javed, nakushukuru sana kwamba umedhirisha ulimwengu kwa mara wewe pia mwana mapinduzi. Asante sana. 
Ndiyo maana nikakubalia akasema na mimi ni mumu. Tunaendeleza historia yetu njema ya umoja, mshikamano, maridhiano eh na usawa kwa wananchi wetu wa Zanzibar wote. Sasa Leo tumekusanyika hapa kusherehekea miaka kamsini ya mapinduzi. Sote sisi tuko hapa. Ukitazama mitume yetu wa kisiasa ndio tofautiana. Na tofautiana nini? Sisi tunaita itikadi. Ala kila mmoja na haki kuwa na itikadi yake. Wala si dhambi wana jamii kutofautiana katika itikadi. Na mimi napenda sana kutumia mifano midogo midogo ambayo inafahamika. Mfano ya safari. Tumeamua kwenda safari makunduchi. Lakini lengo letu si kufika makunduchi. Wengine watasema mnajua wenye upepo huu sasa hivi wakusi bise tukiingia katika jahazi tukitueka kidogo tunapita fumba hapo kizimkazi tutenge makunduchi. Mwingine anasema ah, seto konda njia ya gari utafika mapema sasa <laughs> hilo ni chaguo lakini lengo ni kufikia makunduchi na lengo la makunduchi ndio maendeleo kwa wananchi wetu sote bila ya ubaguzi bila ya mtengano sasa kwani tukumbane eh? kwa sababu eti hatufahamiani malengo lakini tunakokwenda ndo huko huko moja kwa hivyo kitabu hichi leo kitumekusajisha sote sisi hapa. Kumbe ala sote waumi ni eh. Kwa mapinduzi. Tupiane hongera sisi sote waumi na mapinduzi, sote waumi ni wa, wa Zanzibar yenye umoja, sote waumi ni wa Zanzibar yenye maendeleo, yenye haki na yenye usawa. Ndugu ndani hii eh, Javed hapa kapiga picha za historia na katika kitabu kizuri kweli kweli walitangulia kusema wamekisifu sasa mimi sina haja kuelezea mengi zaidi mimi nimefurahikiwa na kitabu nasema asante sana kitabu kizuri cha historia ya Zanzibar sasa sina haja kuachosha najua sisi wanasiasa siasa sasa nyingine tuna tabia si nzuri sana ukitukabidhi hivi vidu hivi Le mara tunasajisahau maana tunafikiri labda sauti zetu zinapendeza sana. Alafu tunaanza kusema kumbe watu washachoka anaanza kuuna guna, samsi ni gune. Nafikiri yalopaswa kuzungumzwa na mimi kwa leo nimeyazungumza. Na ah, zaidi zaidi nimalizie tu kusema tutumie uwanja huu na tutumie nafasi hii tuendelee kujiimarisha kama ni wazanzibari wenye umoja wazanzibari wenye upendo na wazanzibari wenye mashirikiano kwa kuleta amani utulivu na maendeleo kwa nchi yetu ya kusema hayo nampongeza tena ndugu Javed na wenziwe wale shirikiana kutengeneza kitabu hichi na mshukuru tena mheshimiwa Malim Saif Sharif Hamadi kwa ujio wake na kukubali ya kuungana nasi katika sherehe hii na kuwashukuru ni nyote wengine ndio hudhuria hapa kwa kuyaendeleza mapinduzi yetu matukufu ya Januari 12 mwaka 1900 na siti nane mwezi mgu wabariki wote ya santa nisana mwamba tena mwishimi wa Saida Ali Mbaruk kumkaribisha mgeni wae tuwe ngini anukuja santa nisana kwa kweli nadhani sote tunawajibu wa kumshukuru sana rais mstafu wa wamu ya sita dr. Amani Abed Karume kwa hotuba yake mzuri na sitaki niengeze chochote kwa sababu nahitaji maneno yake bado yabakie katika memori yetu kwa mazingatio 
ya maana sana kuyafanyia kazi. Sasa kwa heshima tena naomba sasa ni mwalike ni mkaribishe mheshimiwa makamu wa kwanza wa rais wa Zanzibar Maalim Seif Sharif Hamadi naye atupe na saha zake katika shughuli hii muhimu sana. Mheshimiwa karibu sana. Mheshimiwa Dr. Aman Abed Karume Rais Mstaafu wa awamu ya sita Mheshimiwa Said Ali Mbaruk Waziri wa Habari Utamadini Utalii na Michezo Mheshimiwa mawaziri Mheshimiwa mzee wetu Mzee Hassan Nasr Moyo Mheshimiwa mama yetu mzee Mama Fatma Karume Mheshimiwa ndugu yetu David Jafarji na timu yako Mheshimiwa wawakilishi wa balozi zilipo Zanzibar Mheshimiwa viongozi Mheshimiwa wali kwa wenzetu Salamu alaikum na mimi niungane na mheshimiwa Karume kwa kumshukuru muumba wetu Mwenyezi Mungu mtukufu kwa kutujalia neema zake nyingi ikiwemo kutupa uhai na siha hadi leo hii tukaweza kukusanyika katika eneo hili la kihistoria katika hafla hii tukiwa kwenye furaha Nirhusuni nimshukuru pia ndugu yetu Javed Jafarji na kampuni yake Zanzibar Gallery kwa ujumla kwa kutupa heshima kubwa na ya kipekee ya kudumuika pamoja nanyi akiwemo Dr. Aman Abid Karume asubuhi hii ukizindua kitabu cha aina yake alicho kitayarisha ambacho amekipa jina la Zanzibar Photographic Journey 50 years of the revolution na pia maonesho ya picha yanayoambatana nacho nasema asante sana Javed kwa heshima hii kubwa mliotupa mimi na mwenzangu ndugu zangu kitabu hichi kimetolewa kwa mintaraf ya kuadhimisha mapinduzi, mapinduzi matukufu ya tarehe 12 Januari mwaka 1964 yani miaka hamsini iliyopita wale wenye umri kama sisi na tuzidi watakumbuka kwamba mapinduzi yalifanywa kuanzia usiku wa Jumamosi kwa mkia Jumapili tunadhimisha miaka hamsini ya mapinduzi vile vile Jumamosi kwa mkia Jumapili miaka hamsini ndio uweza Mwenyezi Mungu sijui ni coincidence au nini <laughs> lakini ndio Mwenyezi Mungu eh kwa sababu miaka hamsini wanao wenyewe sema wenyewe ni epoch <laughs> nichukue fursa hii vile vile kumpongeza kwa dhati mwanzangu dr Amani Abid Karume kwa hotuba yake fupi aloitoa muda mfupi uliopita 
ambayo imeeleza mengi kuhusiana na historia yetu na wapi tumetoka hotuba ile tukumbusha mengi lakini hotuba vile vile iliyojaa na saha naamini mnakubaliana nami nikisema kwamba na saha zake tumezipokea na bila shaka tutazingatia na kuzifanyia kazi ilikuwa ni mwaka jana wakati wa mfungo wa mwezi mtukufu wa Ramadhani ambapo Javed alinialika kujumuika na familia yake na rafiki zake katika iftar na kunieleza kwamba ameamua kutayarisha na kuchapisha kitabu hiki ili kutoa mchango wake kama wananchi wa Zanzibar katika kuienzi historia ya miaka hamsini ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar wakati huo tayari yeye na timu yake ya awali walikuwa wameanza kutayarisha mpango wa kitabu hicho na nikapata bahati ya kuiona walponitaka niwe sehemu ya mradi wao huo siku sita kuwajibu hapo hapo kwamba nimekubali na nilikubali kwa sababu zile zile alizozieleza Mheshimiwa Karume hapo. Waliponambia kuandika utangulizi wa kitabu hicho niliona nimepewa heshima kubwa sana. Matunda ya kazi yao kubwa ambayo kama walivyosema wenyewe imewachukua takriban mwaka mmoja ni kitabu hichi kizuri na cha aina yake. Mimi baada ya kukiona na thubutu kusema ni kitabu bora cha picha kwa maana ya coffee table book kuliko vyote vilivyowahi kuchapishwa hapa Zanzibar. Hongera sana Javed na timu yako. Lakini uzuri wa kitabu hichi hauko katika sura na kiwango cha uchapaji tu. Mpangilio na maudhui yake navyo ni vya kupigiwa mfano kitabu kina sehemu ya historia na safari refu ya kisiasa ya mapinduzi ya Zanzibar katika miaka hamsini iliyopita kina sehemu ya kumbukumbu za picha za historia za Zanzibar ya kabla ya mapinduzi ambazo ni adimu na ni lazima nikiri nyingine hata mimi ndio mara yangu ya kwanza kuziona kina sehemu inayoonesha nyanja mbali, mbali za maisha ya wazanzibari na vivutio vilivyopo katika visiwa vyote viwili vya Unguja na Pemba kina sehemu ambayo mimi menvutia sana yenye kuwatambua watu maarufu waliotoa mchango mkubwa katika kujenga Zanzibar kwenye nyanja mbali mbali na mwisho kina sehemu ya wasifu wa mashirika kampuni taasisi za kibiashara na jumuiya nyinginezo ambazo zimepata mafanikio makubwa katika miaka hii hamsini na kwa sehemu ya Zanzibar uzuri mmoja wa kitabu hiki ni kwamba kazi yote hii imefanywa na wazanzibari wenyewe. Huu ni ushahidi kwamba tunao watu wenye vipaji na vipawa vikubwa humu humu ndani ambavyo vikipewa fursa vinaweza kuibadilisha kabisa Zanzibar na kuifikisha kwenye kilele cha mafanikio. Na mpongeza sana Javed na timu yake ndio shiriki kutayarisha na kutapisha kitabu hichi ambacho naamini kitaitangaza sana nchi yetu na watu wake. Hongereni sana. Nashukuru kwamba kitabu hichi na hafla hii 
vimenipa fursa ambayo siku zote huwa siachi kuifurahia ya kujumuika na mwana maridhiano mwenzangu mheshimiwa dr Haman Abed Karumi Mtakumbuka kwamba tarehe 5 Novemba mwaka 2009 tulikutana hapo ikulu si swawili tu na baada ya kazi tulikutana baada ya kazi kubwa iliyofanywa na kamati ya maridhiano chini ya uongozi wa mzee wetu mpendwa mheshimiwa Hassan Nasr na baada ya masaa mawili tu au Kiswahili sanifu anasema baada ya saa mbili tu hakuna masaa wasema Kiswahili ni saa baada ya saa mbili tu tukakubaliana kujenga mustakabali mpya wa siasa za umoja na maridhiano katika nchi yetu tulitafakari na kukubaliana kwamba baada ya migogoro na mavutano ya kisiasa iliyowakumba wazanzibari kwa miaka mingi imefika pahala tuseme basi tuwape fursa wazanzibari wapumue maamuzi hayo hayakome pesi kwetu sote wawili lakini viongozi makini hawaogopi kufanya maamuzi magumu kwa maslahi ya nchi yao na watu wake na hivyo ndivyo tulivyofanya umoja na maridhiano vinajitokeza katika picha na maelezo ya diomo kwenye kurasa za kitabu hichi kwa hivyo si jambo la ajabu kwamba dr Amana Abed Karume kaandika dibaji na mimi nimeandika utangulizi wa kitabu hichi nakushukuru sana Eh <laughs> nakushukuru sana Dr. Karume kwa kufanya wajibu wako wa kutuletea siasa za maridhiano na kuwa thabit na mkweli katika yale tuliyokubaliana. Wengi hapa mashahidi tumekuwa na miafaka 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 miafaka. Lakini mwisho hatukufika pahala. <laughs> lakini baada ya sisi wawili kukutana na kila mmoja akamsafia nia mwenzake na tukasema tulisimamie hili hakuna lerudi nyuma kabisa alipata matatizo kwenye chama chake nilipata matatizo kwenye chama changu <laughs> lakini tukasema njia ndio hii hatuna hatuna choice hatuna mbadala kabisa kabisa. Kwa hivyo faraja ya mabadiliko yale uliyosimamia mheshimiwa Karume na kuyaongoza ndio leo amewafanya wazanzibari kama Javed kuona fahari kufanya kazi nasi kwa pamoja. Pili kitabu hichi kinatupa somo moja sisi viongozi wa kisiasa kwamba maendeleo ya nchi kuchangiwa na wananchi wengi na sio wanasiasa peke yao nilisema pale awali kwamba katika sehemu zilizonivutia katika kitabu hichi ni ile sehemu yenye kurasa kukusanya picha na wasifu kwa watu mashuhuri ambao wametoa mchango mkubwa katika kuendeleza na kuitangaza nchi yetu katika miaka hamsini hii na furahi kwamba wote waliowekwa katika sehemu hii si wanasiasa peke yao nchi haijengwi na wanasiasa peke yao ni kweli wanasiasa na mchango mkubwa lakini sio peke yao na kurasa sehemu hiyo zimenifunza mengi mengine ikiwa nayajua kwa mara ya kwanza kwa mfano siku zote nimekuwa najua kwamba mama yetu mpenzi ama Fatma Karume 
na ukakamavu wake katika harakati za ukombozi wa wanawake lakini sikujua kabla ya kusoma kwenye kitabu hichi kwamba kumbe yeye alikuwa ndio mwanamke wa kwanza kabisa kudai haki ya wanawake kupiga kura Zanzibar baada ya uchaguzi wa mwaka 1957 tena alifanya hivyo mbele ya mbunge wa Uingereza aliyetembelea Zanzibar bana bwana James Johnson lakini pia nimeyajua mengi ya historia za watu kama Maalim Hija Saleh Ustaz Bakar Abedi mtangazaji maarufu Zayana Seif mchoraji John Da Silva bila kumsahau Bikidude Tunapaswa kurudisha utamaduni wa kuenzi watu wetu wote na michango yao na sio wanasiasa kujitukuza sisi peke yetu. Tatu kitabu hichi pia kinaitangaza sana Zanzibar kutokana na kuweka pamoja vivutio mbalimbali mbali vya utalii vilivyopo Unguja na Pemba. Katika hili kamera ya Javed imefanya kazi kubwa na yeyote atakayeziangalia atakezi picha hizo anaweza kujisahau kabisa kwa uzuri wa maombile wa visiwa vyetu ambao pingine hata sisi wenyewe hatuutambui wakati nampongeza tena Javed kwa kuendelea kuitangaza nchi yetu naomba niseme hili pia nitukumbushe tena kwamba uchumi wa visiwa vyetu unategemea mno utalii. Tuendelee kuvitunza na kuvienzi vivutio tulivyonavyo ikiwa ni pamoja na tabia ya ukarimu na ucheshi wa watu wa Zanzibar. Tusifanye vitendo vyo vyote ambavyo vinaweza kuitikisa sekta hii muhimu ya uchumi wetu. Bila shaka ukuzaji wa utalii wetu nao hauna budi kuzingatia mila silka na utamaduni wetu nne kitabu hichi na maudhui yake kimejelekeza vyema katika dhana ya uzalendo kwa kuonesha vipi nchi yetu imepata mabadiliko makubwa katika miaka hamsini hii yameoneshwa mengi na mengine sina haja kuyarudia maana tayari yameshatajwa hapa lakini moja kubwa ambalo nimedugusia katika utangulizi niloandika ni kwamba mapinduzi ya Januari 12 mwaka 1964 yamesarifu upya utambulisho wa dhana ya ujananchi katika Zanzibar na kutufanya sote kuwa sawa chini ya dola ambayo ni jamhuri kama ilivyotangazwa na mwasisi wa mapinduzi yetu Rais wa kwanza wa Jamhuri ya Watu wa Zanzibar marehemu mzee Abed Amani Karume. Hili litupe fahari ya kulinda msingi mkuu wa malengo ya mapinduzi ambao ni wa Zanzibari kujitawala wenyewe. Naungana na Mheshimiwa Karume kutoa wito kwa wazanzibari sote tulizingatia hilo wakati tukitafakari na kujitayarisha kuamua mustakabal wa nchi yetu kupitia mchakato wa katiba kufanya hivyo ndio hasa kulinda na kuenzi malengo na dhamira za mapinduzi na muasisi wake marehemu mzee Abed Aman Karume kada kitabu hiki kina jambo moja ambalo litawasaidia wengine kujifunza nalo ni kwamba pamoja na misukosuko ya mapinduzi mzee Karume na wenzake waliunda dola yenye mamlaka kamili ambayo ilidhibiti kuendesha na kusimamia mambo yake yote na waomba wa Zanzibar wenzangu wote tuendelee kwa kitu kimoja 
na tuhakikishe tunasimamia maslahi ya Zanzibar na watu wake tukijua kwamba huo ni wajibu wetu wa msingi usipofanya hivyo tutakuwa tunamsaliti marehemu mzee Abed Amani Karume na tunayasaliti malengo ya mapinduzi Mwisho kabisa namshukuru na kumpongeza tena Javed na timu yake kwa kuja na wazo hili na kulisimamia hadi hii leo tunakizindua kitabu hichi cha Zanzibar Photographic Journey 50 years of the revolution na maonesho yake Natoa wito kwa waandishi na wapiga picha wengine na wao kuiga mfano mzuri wa Javed na kuja na vitabu vingi vitakavyoitangaza Zanzibar na kulifanya jina lake lizidi kungara na sasa nitamke kwa niaba mwanzangu kwa matoko tayari kukizindua kitabu hicho na washukuruni kwa kunisikiliza asanteni sana bwana Javid na waziri wa utalii bwana Said Ali Mbaruk kuwapeleka waheshimiwa wetu kuzindua kitabu officially nitapenda kutangaza kutakuwa na mnada there will be an auction of the book now i have seen so many familiar faces here who can afford more than two copies i urge you to dig deep into your pockets and buy much mr javid bwana ali said mbaruk The normal price of the books is 50,000, 50 years of revolution, 50,000 shillings. Now, we start the bid for 50,000. Do I hear 100,000? There's, who's that? Um, 50,000? Mr. 100,000? 200,000? Come, 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 come. That's 5,000, 300,000. I'm sorry? Axel, 500,000. 500,000, my friend, 100,000, 600,000, my dear friend, Bibi Elena, 600,000, 700,000, 700, 700, how about this side, um, hello, Bana, 1 million, our esteemed, 100,000, Jeff, 800,000, 500,000 for Jeff, is anyone writing this down, okay, 500, anyone else, 600,000, 400, 300,000, Bwana Abed, Abed Aman Karume, um, my good friend Bwana Alimze, umekuwa kimia, aya, tuchukwe ngapi kwako, 100,000, Mr. Alimze, 100,000, who else, 100 from 50,000 to 100,000, Tonino, um, do I hear 200,000 from you, 200,000 from Tonino, Abdul Samad, 300,000 from Abdul Samad, oh, I'm enjoying this, um, um, who else? 300,000? 300, 300,000? Who's that? 300,000, Mr. Taraba, Tarabeni, if I'm not mistaken. 300,000 from Mr. Tarabeni. Who else? Jeff, you've been very supportive, but you're very quiet. <laughs> 400,000, Madam Ellen? 200,000 from Madam Ellen. Any more bidding? Um, Dr. Firoz? Nasim, Nasim Memories, 500,000. Nasim Memories, thank you. This is for a good cause. All the money goes to young people who want to change their life. Um, one million, I want to hear one million. One million, one million, the esteemed gentleman there. Hello, madam, before we forgot. One million. 
the gentleman next to Jeff. Who else? Huh? Exol. Who else? Sir, I haven't heard you saying anything. Oh, yeah, yeah, you did that. Um, Mr. Isam Lingoti, Dr. Shajak, my old friend Dr. Shajak, 300,000 from Dr. Shajak, Juicer Ismail Juicer, I know you worked with it, but you have to buy it, 500,000 from Juicer. Um, oh, I'm good at this, I like this. Um, who else? Um, Madam, the director of Save the Children, Mali, do I hear 2,000? 200,000? 200. 200,000 from Mali, save the children. Um, save the children. 300,000 from the gentleman. 500 from Eddie Moheri. 500 from Eddie Moheri. Who else? Any more? Eddie Riami, I beg your pardon. Eddie Riami. Um, one million. I want to hear one million. Mr. Balu, did I hear 500,000? 300,000 for Bana Mohammed Balu. 300. How, how about our young Obama? Our young Obama. 50,000. Manafunzi can afford it. Musa. Musa. Come, Musa. Musa. 50,000. Musa from U.S. Embassy. 50,000. Um, who else? I want 1 million. How much have you raised so far? This is the last one now. That is the last one. It's signed by His Excellency Dr. Abed Aman Karume and Maheshimiwa Saif Sharif. This is going for a million. One million. Doctor, doctor. Okay, more. One million, two millions. Two. One point five. One, one point five. The good doctor Meta. One point five. Do I hear two million? Two million. Two million. Come, 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 come. It is signed. This is a limited edition. You will never get a copy like this again. Two million. Two million. Two million. Mohishimua Jusa, two million? No? Oh, they don't pay you that much. Two million. Two million. Two million. Two million. Two million, Axel. That is the last copy that has been signed by the former president of Zanzibar and the second first vice president of Zanzibar. Dr. Shisef Hamad Sharif. Excel. Thank you very much. The last copy, it will be presented to their excellencies, Dr. Aman Abed Karume and Mr. Saif Sharif Hamad. Asante Nisa. Two million is more than welcome. Please help. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ja, zo ben je niet meer gedaan.